Hello everyone, I'm Ed. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are doing episode two of the Setup Block series. If you'd like your own setup to be featured on the show, be sure to read the submission instructions down below in the description. Also, links to everything featured in today's video will also be in the description down below. Once again, shout out to Tech Source as well as Ryan and Frank P for inspiring me to make my own setup review show. So, with all that said, let's jump straight into episode two of Setup Block. The first setup comes from Jamie. He is 18 years old and he uses this setup primarily for gaming and coding for university. For his desk, he has a 140cm desk that he bought from Amazon. Behind that desk, he's mounted an LED light strip. I hope that you've paired the LED light strip with a Magic Hue Wi-Fi controller and you're not using an infrared controller. If you haven't already, I'll leave a link to one in the description down below for you. They're really inexpensive and allow you to control your LED light strip via an app on your phone. On top of your desk, you have an IKEA phone holder, a Titan Fall 2. Cooper figure, a Lego The Flash bricks head figure, an IKEA fetch plant, coasters, an IKEA storage container that is used for items that you need before leaving the house, and for your chair you have some random office chair that you don't really know where you bought it from. <laughs> Taking a look at your peripherals, you've mostly stuck with Razer. For your keyboard you've gone with the Razer Blackboard or Chroma V2, mechanical gaming keyboard featuring the Razer green switches, a keyboard that I had in my setup as well. For your mouse you have the Razer Lancet Tournament Edition in black, and you've paired that mouse with a Steel Series Quake Plus mouse pad I believe. And finally for your headset you've gone with the Razer Kraken Pro V2s in black, that headset is also sitting on top of an aluminium headset stand that you bought on Amazon. For your monitor, you have the very, very popular ASUS VG248 QE 24-inch 1080p 144Hz monitor. It's a TN panel, unfortunately, so it's not the best in terms of like color reproduction, but it's still a fantastic monitor, especially for gaming. Just about everything in the setup is also very nicely cable managed using zip ties as well as zip tie mounts behind the desk and table legs. Awesome job, dude. Also, if you can, consider maybe drilling a hole in your desk to wrap your keyboard wire through and maybe instead of running your mouse wire across your entire desk like you currently are consider plugging your mouse into the USB pass-through on the right hand side of your keyboard and then you could hide the rest of the mouse cable beneath the keyboard take a look at your PC you've gone with the NZXT S340 black PC case you have an Asus ROG Strix Z270e motherboard an Intel Core i7 7700k CPU that is being cooled by the ID cooling Frost Flow Plus 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler. On the radiator of the liquid cooler, you've also mounted two Noctua NFF12 Chromax PWM 120mm fans. <gasps> you have 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM running at 2666MHz. An MSI GTX 1070 Armor OC 8GB graphics card from NVIDIA. A lightning fast Samsung 960 EVO 250GB NVMe M.2 SSD I'm guessing for your boot drive as well as most of your programs and maybe even a few games on there as well. And then you also have a 2TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive for mass storage I'm guessing. You've swapped out the stock NZXT fans that came with the case and you've replaced them with 120mm Be Quiet Silent Wings 2 fans. You've even thrown in some RGB LED strips in there as well from Deepcool and all of the components inside of your PC are being powered by a Be Quiet System Power 8 600 watt power supply. To improve your setup even further, Jamie, consider maybe replacing the SteelSeries mouse pad that you have for your mouse and replace that with Razer's extended Chroma Goliathus mouse pad. I think that would look pretty cool and you could pair that up with the rest of your Razer peripherals, I suppose. But apart from that though, you have an awesome setup, Jamie. Thank you very much for submitting your setup to the Setup Block Show. Best of luck to you in university. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next setup. The next setup comes from Danny. He is 14 years old, about to be 15. He bought the majority of his setup himself, which is why he's mainly got budget peripherals, I suppose. For his desk, he's gone to the IKEA Alex desk and he's paired it with an IKEA Alex drawer to the left-hand side of the desk. And to the left-hand side of the drawer, there's also a bin. Sitting on top of the Alex drawer, he's got a Canon printer and on top of the Canon printer, there's a Forza 6 Motorsport Edition, one terabyte Xbox One console that is hooked up to his monitor. Speaking of his monitor, he's got a 32-inch Samsung TV, and to the right of that TV, there's even a table lamp. For his peripherals, he's mostly stuck to like budget peripherals, I suppose. He's got the AFX K01 keyboard that he got from PC World, a Rat Tournament Edition mouse, and a Glide Tournament Edition mouse pad from Rat as well, I'm guessing. To the left of the keyboard, there's also a wireless charger for his iPhone X. For his PC, he's got a Surface Pro 4 laptop that he mentioned is a temporary fix until he gets his new PC on his birthday. That was on May 26th. So happy birthday, Danny. I hope you got your new computer. Taking a look at the specs of the laptop, it's got an i5-6300U CPU, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, a 128GB M.2 SSD for his boot drive and programs, 
and a half a terabyte hard drive for mass storage. And it's also got Intel Iris graphics, so I'm guessing you don't really use the laptop for gaming, as you know, it's got Intel Iris graphics. It probably can't run many games apart from like Minesweeper or something. Taking a look at the keyboard management of the setup, even though you are on a budget, I'm really glad that you've actually invested into some Velcro cable ties and you've cable managed this setup quite nicely. As you can probably see, there's no actual cables like in sight, I suppose. Everything's like, you know, nicely cable managed using those Velcro cable ties. Also, he mentioned that his setup is currently a work in progress and he's probably planning on adding many more things to it in the future. But for a budget setup like this, I suppose you've actually done a really good job. I've noticed that you also didn't include any headphones or speakers for your setup, so I'm guessing you either don't have any or you maybe forgot to include them in the setup, I suppose. And if you're planning on keeping the TV, consider maybe picking up like a soundbar to place underneath the TV. I'll leave a few links in the description down below to some budget soundbars I found on Amazon for you, if you're interested in actually picking up a soundbar, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for submitting your setup, Danny. Hopefully you've gotten your brand new PC for your birthday, and best of luck to you upgrading your setup in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next setup comes from Amar, and oh my god, look at those 200 millimeter front intake fans in the front of his PC case. They look crazy, they've got red all over him, and genuinely it looks so cool, dude. I'm loving the black, white, and red theme you have going on throughout your entire setup. You've really done a really good job there. I begin by telling you what desk the setup has, but we don't really know, because he doesn't know what desk he has in his setup. But what I do know is that the surface on top of the desk is actually glass. So you probably don't want to be drilling a hole into the desk to route like a keyboard wire through, as, in, you know, it might not end well for the desk if you drill a hole in the glass desk. Anyway, take a look at the monitor that's sitting on top of the glass desk. He's got an ASUS 1440p 75Hz IPS monitor. Now, he didn't leave a model number in there, so I googled it, and I believe it's the MX25AQ monitor. So I'm guessing it's like a 25-inch monitor. And damn, look at the bezels on the monitor. They pretty much don't exist, apart from the bottom one, of course. These monitors are basically perfect for, like, a multi-monitor setup, thanks to there being almost no bezel on the sides. The first peripheral is gone on the HyperX Alloy FPS Pro keyboard, a Razer Death Adder Elite mouse, and a massive, extra, extra large black and red mouse pad from Red Dragon. Nicely incorporates you more of the color red into your setup, I suppose. Even your headset is red, and it's the HyperX Cloud Alpha headset paired with a HyperX 7.1 virtual surround sound sound card. To the left of the monitor, there's also a modded PS4 with a paint job, but unfortunately he didn't include any photos of the modded PS4 with the paint job, so we don't really know how it looks like, to be honest. So instead, Let's go ahead and take a look at his awesome PC instead. For his CPU, he's going to the AMD R5 1600, that is overclocked to 3.9 GHz. It's being cooled by the NZXT Kraken X52 all-in-one liquid cooler. He has an MSI B350 Gaming Pro carbon motherboard, 16GB of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM running at 3200MHz. Personally, that is the RAM I want to get in my own PC. It just looks so cool, especially when you pair with like an RGB wave effect on the RAM. It looks so cool. So you better be happy that you have it, but you've just got your set to red to match the rest of your black, white and red theme. Anyway, for your graphics card, you even have a GTX 1070 Ti, and for storage, you've got a 1TB hard drive and a 250GB SSD from Crucial, a Corsair 80 Plus Gold 650W power supply, and all of these components are sitting inside of the Cooler Master H500P white mesh PC case that has gigantic front intake fans that look awesome. Your PC is a beast and I think you should really add some custom sleeve cables into the PC, perhaps like some black, white and red, you know, custom sleeve cables. I'll leave a few links in the description for you so you can check out some, you know, budget friendly sleeve cables that you can place inside of your PC. For cable management, you've also done a really good job, both for your setup and even inside of your PC as well. I see that you've even stuck a power strip to your desk to keep it off the floor, so fantastic job there. But I can see some cables running from your monitor, and that's really easy to fix actually. Just pick up some Velcro cable ties and tie those cable ties to the back of your monitor stand. But apart from that, Amar, you've got an awesome setup here. I'm loving the actual effort you put into this setup to keep that consistent theme going throughout the entire setup. It looks awesome. So thank you very much for submitting your setup, Amar. Best of luck to you upgrading your setup in the future, I guess. That's going to be it for today's episode. Everything that you saw in today's video is going to be linked down below for you. So if you saw anything that you liked in anyone's setup, Check out the links in the description down below. Maybe pick it up for yourself, especially that RGB RAM. Uh, it looks sick. And if you can support DDR4 RAM in your PC, get that RAM. It looks awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for watching episode 2 of Setup Block. In this episode, you may have noticed that I did change a few things up from the previous episodes. And that's mainly thanks to the feedback I received 
on episode one of the series. So thank you very much to everyone who left feedback. I feel like I've actually applied it or applied some of it to this newest episode of Setup Block, I suppose. So if you have any more feedback that you can give me on the Setup Block series, I suppose, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in another episode soon. Goodbye.